Hey guys hello and welcome to Speedy Medical in this video we are going to take on polycythemia vera so polycythemia vera is another type of myeloproliferative disorder and if you haven't watched the previous videos on myeloproliferative disorders like the chronic myeloid leukemia do watch the previous videos on myeloproliferative disorders first and then come to this video for those who have watched our previous videos let's start with polycythemia vera so polycythemia vera is another type of myeloproliferative disorder so it is just another type of myeloproliferative disorder which means that in this condition there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of the mature cells of the myeloid lineage so if you consider the mature cells of myeloid lineage in the mature cells we have the granulocytes we have the platelets and we have the rbcs but in case of polycythemia vera the rbcs they are characteristically increased so although the granulocytes are increased the platelets are increased but if we compare the rbcs are increased to a proportion more than the other cells so characteristically in polycythemia vera the rbcs are increased although the granulocytes and the platelets they are also increased Now if we talk about the pathogenesis of polycythemia vera basically it is caused due to a mutation in a gene which encodes for tyrosine kinase and this gene is called as JAK2 gene and the tyrosine kinase which was associated with this gene is called as JAK2 kinase so as a result of the mutation in this JAK2 gene there will occur the increased synthesis of this JAK2 kinase which is a tyrosine kinase and as a result of increased synthesis of this tyrosine kinase there will be increased signals to the cells and as a result of this there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of those cells especially the rbcs and to some extent of granulocyte and the platelets so this is how the polycythemia vera is derived now if we talk about the clinical features which are associated with polycythemia vera the clinical features are primarily due to the increased number of rbcs within the blood so as a result of this increased rbcs within the blood vessel there will occur numerous clinical feature which we are going to discuss now so the first clinical feature is hyperviscosity of the blood now you know viscosity viscosity in physical terms is actually the thickness for example let's consider this as a blood vessel in which the normal blood was flowing now consider this abnormal blood vessel in which the polycythemia vera related increased in rbcs has occurred so naturally in this condition there will occur the hyperviscosity or increased viscosity and as a result of hyperviscosity the oxygen carrying capacity will decrease basically the oxygen carrying capacity is not decreased but the oxygen diffusing capacity will decrease and ultimately the oxygen delivery or the oxygen supply to the tissues is decreased now you know that when the blood goes into the lungs there occurs the diffusion of oxygen from the alveoli into the blood vessels and ultimately the diffusion of oxygen into the tissues will take place at the tissue level now imagine a blood vessel which is full of these rbcs and these rbcs are so densely packed that oxygen is literally not able to diffuse through these blood vessels and as a result of this the oxygen supply to the tissues will decrease no as a result of the decreased oxygen supply to the tissues the functions of some primary organs will decrease and as a result of this there will occur headache because of decreased blood supply or oxygen supply to the central nervous system and there will occur the blurry vision or the blurred vision this is because of decreased oxygen supply to the retina which is so sensitive and a little decrease in oxygen can result in blurry vision so this is the first clinical feature that is the headache and the blurry vision the second clinical feature is increased risk of venous thrombosis now you know that within the blood vessel the platelets they are well separated and they do not come in contact with each other 
But if you consider a blood of polycythemia vera in which there are numerous RBCs, so naturally these RBCs they will push the platelets toward each other and as a result of this there will occur interaction between the platelets. Now as a result of interaction between the platelets there can occur thrombosis in the blood vessels which is which are actually the aggregates of platelets and these thrombosis they occur at some specific sites like the hepatic veins like the dural venous sinuses and the portal veins so the thrombosis can occur in hepatic veins they can occur in the portal vein and they can occur in the dural sinuses of meninges so as a result of the thrombosis in these areas there may occur infarction of the tissues now if the hepatic vein thrombosis occurs it is called as bud carry syndrome so this is a specific syndrome which is called as bud carry syndrome in which the thrombosis of hepatic veins it take place now the third clinical feature is basically plethora now this plethora is basically a clinical finding in which you will see that the face of the patient is congested and it is red and this is actually because of increased circulation and increased number of rbcs within the circulation and as a result of this the patient will look congested and the patient will look red to you now another clinical feature or clinical finding is that these patient report of a very peculiar finding which is itching after the bath now you might have encountered this patient or you will encounter this patient in your clinical experience and this is because in the patient with polycythemia vera the number of mast cells is also increased as the mast cells they are derived from basophils and basophils are increased so number of mast cells is also increased and when these mast cells are stimulated due to various reasons like bathing or stuff like that these mast cells they will degranulate and they will release histamine and now you you know that histamine is a allergic substance it is an inflammatory mediator so histamine release will cause itching after the bathing so these are the major clinical features like uh, blurry vision headache thrombosis plethora and itching after the bath so these are the various clinical features of polycythemia vera if we talk about the treatment of polycythemia vera it is actually phlebotomy now you might think what is phlebotomy so phlebotomy is a condition in which we puncture one of your blood vessel and draw out some blood so in this way we'll decrease the number of rbcs within the blood vessels and because all clinical features are due to increased number of rbcs the clinical features will subside uh, so this was the basic idea about polycythemia vera if you like this video do consider to subscribe to our youtube channel 